White, and I have the privilege of being the Executive Director for the Cambridge Memorial Hospital Foundation, and I'm so thrilled to have each and every one of you out this morning. This is our 24th annual Trees of Caring ceremony, so we're so, so pleased about that. And you may notice, if you've been involved with our previous Trees of Caring ceremonies, that we're doing things a little bit differently this year. This year we've decided to use our three existing trees that are outside. We didn't bring in a new one. And we will start lighting those up just after Remembrance Day. The tree concept remains the same. Lights are $10 each, and I encourage you to also buy strings of lights. You can purchase them in honor of someone, in memory of someone, to make a fabulous tribute gift for that hard to buy person, including your boss. So please feel free to do that. If you purchase them in tribute for people, we will send a nice little note to that individual, letting them know that a tree uh, light was lit up in their honor. We are really, really excited this year to have a number of things that we've had before. We have some new versions of our MRI angels. They will be helping support the MRI this year, and you can get them in the foundation office, in the gift shop, and in many of the banks around town. They're $10 for the small one and $20 for the large ones, and we encourage you to add to your collection. I've started a collection of them all, so each year we'll be adding to those. I would now like to introduce Susan Brown, who's the board chair of the CMH Foundation, he has tireless hours and energy, and I'd like to have her come up and say a few words. Susan. Good morning, everyone. It's so nice to see you all here today. And I'd especially like to welcome and thank our MRI donors who came out to join us today. You have made significant donations to make our dream of having an MRI in Cambridge come true. I'd also like to take this opportunity to recognize a special business today. Our local Cambridge Toyota dealer, Camp Beaton, has been participating since 1999 with a portion of November and December vehicle sales going toward the tree of, uh, Trees of Caring campaign. Between supporting our golf tournaments and Trees of Caring, Cambridge Toyota has donated over $60,000 to CMH over the years, so please join me in a round of applause. As you know, we're embarking on the largest expansion in the history of our hospital, and we need your help. Many people don't know the funding formula that the provincial government uses for health care facilities and assume that the government pays for everything. That's not the case, and that's why the Cambridge Memorial Hospital Foundation exists, to raise money for our hospital. In fact, while the government pays for 90% of the costs of the building or expansion of hospitals, the remaining 10% must be raised from the community. And the government provides no funding for equipment, meaning 100% of the equipment in our new hospital will have to be covered by donations from the community. In our case, that combination of 10% of the expansion costs and 100% of the equipment costs means that we have to raise $43 million to contribute our share and to ensure that we can provide the equipment needed to provide the best possible health care for residents of our community. The good news is that we've raised approximately $27 million so far, but we still have another $16 million to go. And that's a lot of money, and that's why we need your help for our hospital and why events like this are so very important to us. There is no cause more important than our hospital because the care our hospital provides touches every resident in one way or another. So please be generous in your support so we can reach our goal of providing outstanding care at Cambridge Memorial Hospital. Thank you. Thank you everyone for coming out today to uh, honour and celebrate uh, the Trees of Caring and to celebrate our MRI and uh, the expansion of acute services to, to our hospital and to supporting our, our region as a whole. Um, I, I want to start um, just, and some people have heard this letter before, but it's an amazing letter that we received about the care that's provided in our hospital. And our hospital, it, while we're looking at expansion, that's just bricks and mortar. And what our hospital is, is a full of 1,100 caring people who live the values of CMH each and every day. And, and this letter really speaks to it. Um, and I know there's a few people who are mentioned in this letter that are in, in the audience. I won't, I won't point them out. Um, and, but it's about a, a, a woman and her journey through cancer at our hospital. And as she was in diagnostic imaging, which we're celebrating today in terms of the MRI and the, and the expanded services, as, uh, through her journey in diagnostic imaging, through her discovery of her cancer, through the surgery that she's had, and I'm sure she's still on her journey uh, the care and support that she received. She comments on what this hospital and really what the staff uh, has done for her. 
First, I would like to thank Sonia, the mammography tech, who had the same sense of humor as me and did her job quickly and well. Sonia has done me before and shown the same professional, efficient care. Next, thank you to Melissa, the ultrasound tech, for her calm and professional care. Small things matter, and when I came back and you recognized me and spoke to me, I felt like my bad news mattered to more than just me. Radiologist Dr. Winnie Lee, I thank you for delivering my bad news with compassion. When I tell people about that moment, it's like I felt I was caught in a hollow. It was overwhelming for me. You acknowledged that, and not for one minute did I feel you needed to get going, or that I was holding you up. That may sound like a funny thing to say, but at that moment, it meant the world to me as I gathered my whirling thoughts. Thank you to Kathy in nuclear medicine. I hated that test. She puts three exclamation marks after that. But you made me feel comfortable that I was in good hands. You are pleasant and you work fast too. Thank you to all of you, Dr. Abrams, Dr. Jan, and everyone else who was involved in my care for all the big things and the little things you do that perhaps you might not think don't matter or don't get noticed. They do. I had a, a, a mastectomy done and my care that day was compassionate and outstanding too. Thank you to Brendan, surgical daycare, brackets, keep her in capital letters, for finding me a bed to lie on while I waited, for, for a delay due, waited due to a delay in the OR. My anxiety was getting the best of me, and at that point, uh, it was getting the best of me at that point, and that calmed me. All the nursing staff was wonderful. In recovery and surgical daycare, the nurses made me comfortable, and never did I feel rushed. The next day, I received a call to make sure I was okay. That call was very reassuring. Keep doing that with patients because if I had concerns, it would have been exactly what I needed. Keep up the good work, all of you. My personal experience was positive because your team remembered that smiles, calmness, and all those little things you do for people really do make a difference. Sincerely, CG. And as I said, it really speaks to the way 1,100 people live the values of CMH, the values of caring, the values of respect, the values of collaboration each and every day within this organization. Here inside